hello. Welcome to those who are joining. Uh, welcome. So awesome to see all you guys here first thing in the morning. Or at least it's morning for me. Uh, so I don't know where you guys are tuning in from. What up? Uh, but definitely shout it out in the comments over there uh, where you're from. Uh, maybe uh, what you're doing if you just jumped off of Nicole's scope. What up, Atlanta? Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Ed Troxel. I'm your creative consultant. I help you think outside the box and help get you motivated and inspired. Uh, I was just at the gym working out, getting a good workout in this morning, first thing, and uh, had to listen to Nicole's uh, scope. So it's really lucky, I was really lucky that I was able to uh, wake up because uh, one of my friends, Roseanne wanted to go to the gym. She was like, it's beast mode. What's happening, guys? Hey, what's up, Rachel? Uh, from California, nice. Uh, so I uh, was lucky enough that she texted me. She's like, 6.30, we gotta go. It's beast mode, and we need to get to the gym. And so I'm slowly waking up, and I'm like, all right, cool. And then I'm checking my uh, tweets and my Facebook and everything, and I'm like, oh, oh, snap. Nicole's on, I gotta get on, I gotta watch. And so I'm like checking, like most of you guys who know Nicole, are um, so I'm checking it out on there and I'm waiting and waiting and finally she gets on I'm like yes so then I'm going to the workout and I'm just like I'm running on the treadmill I'm doing all these things and people are looking at me like this guy's on his phone what is he doing I'm thinking I need that I need to listen so uh, it's really good this morning great energy love that you guys are all on here thank you for those who are just starting to follow me uh, if you just jumped off of Nicole scope and that's how you got around to me Nicole does get you motivated for business it's awesome like that is the whole reason like I kind of mentioned it in her scope and she mentioned it slightly she's like I don't think he's a shy guy I'm definitely a shy guy if I don't know you but when we start talking about business this is what you get so it's crazy and even though Nicole and I haven't met in person I love her and I feel like we've met before in person, even though we haven't. Uh, so it's awesome. I love uh, that so many people jumped in over here and are showing some scope love with the hearts, the comments. For those who are new, definitely raise your hand or say what's up uh, in the comments down below. You can slide over to the right or up on an Android and hit share. Uh, basically, what I wanted to just cover was some great points that I've been talking about. Uh, and then uh, Nicole had some great points in her scope about you know, it's about discovering people. Uh, social media, you know, there there is no, like, it's all about being social, you know, and the, the, everyone wants to know what the secret sauce is and what's going on and what the what's the key and everything. Really, guys, the key is, is that you just need to talk. You need to have a conversation. You know, you need to start commenting down below there. You need to start tapping on people's profiles there. Take a look at them. See if they're of interest. And if they are, hit follow hit reply send them a comment on here you guys are in here uh, having a conversation what's up uh with each other you know i'm just here to help get everyone in one place then it's uh up to all of us to work together to be able to talk to each other and really connect with one another and doing i love it doing your scope in 30 minutes awesome and that's the cool thing too you guys is that hopefully this will promote uh you uh, promote you wanting to do more and hopefully motivate you to get up here and scope uh, and have people jump on and give them a shout out. My Twitter handle is Ed underscore Troxel, T-R-O-X-E-L-L. -L. If you slide to the right or tap the person down here, you'll actually see it there. Um, and what's cool about discovering people on here is that you jump in on a scope and if you're not ready to scope live like I'm doing right now, that's okay. But you will need to get to that point and you will want to do that as soon as you start commenting and interacting with people if you haven't done it already. What's cool is that, exactly, I'm addicted to Periscope as well. What's cool is that you're able to connect with people and that's the whole important part about commenting down below here. Same where you're from. You know, in the last scope I was just in with Nicole's, there was people in there and they were talking and somebody had asked where I was at. I said in Northern California, wine country. Boom, somebody else is in California. And um, I was just seeing a post, somebody was asking, you know, I think it was uh, Atlanta or Tennessee, I can't remember. But anyway, posting that out there and that way you can bring the conversation from online to offline and vice versa. That's the whole point of networking, right? Is that you just want to get out there and start meeting people and talking to people and engaging with them. That's what it's about, you know. That's the cool thing about social media is that you're discovering what is going on, you're finding new people, uh, finding local connections exactly. So this is your further away connection maybe, uh, depending on where you're located, but 
you're finding people in your local area by commenting down below and saying where you're from. Um, so that's the cool thing about social media and that you want to be able to do that. You want to have a voice. You want to have an opinion. You got to get out there and start talking and having that conversation. Don't be a wallflower. You got to get on here and start talking. And then, love the artwork. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Uh, funny fact, uh, funny story about that just as a side topic. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, that's my uh, monkey in the background there. I did that because I'm always thinking and I'm always on. Like, I can't stop. You know, this is all natural. So when people are like, oh, you work too hard, you work too much. I'm like, work? What's work? Like, this is what I love to do. So I don't really consider it work. Um, how do you plan your talks? That's a great question. So planning my talks, uh, really it comes from uh, Bahamas. I need to get out there. I love that. Uh, planning my topics, uh, really, you know, I'm all about planning and having a list. You know, I mean, I have a, a, a Trello account. If you're not familiar with it, Trello.com uh, is awesome. You can have vision boards and everything on there. I'll provide a, a link in my scope uh, school. Uh, for those who don't know, real quick, on my website at troxelcreative.com. Uh, if you go there today, it's still, uh, it's an okay website, but I'm redid it and it's gonna have a new look uh, by the end of the week. So just keep that in mind. But if you go to my website at troxelcreative.com, you'll see I have scope school. Uh, if you click on that, there'll be rebroadcasts of all of my scopes, as well as any um, places that I cover, uh, subjects uh, in terms of like Trello, I'll have a link there so that way you can go click on it right then and there and be able to see it. Uh, so I'll, I like to provide uh, resources for you in one local spot. So scope school over on my website. But back to uh, what we're talking about here is like when you're planning your scopes, I love having a list. I love being able to say, you know, I want to cover X, Y, and Z, but I want to challenge you to also be open and be able to, uh, take whatever comes your way and run with that. So like for instance this morning, I really, to be honest, didn't have a, a, a specific, specific topic on what I wanted to cover because I was like, I gotta go to the gym, I'm listening to Nicole, I got things to do, I have a webinar to jump onto here in a little bit. Uh, Shalene Johnson's giving a, a cool webinar uh, around 10 my time. So I, I'm signed up for that, so I gotta jump onto that before I get some other work done uh, later this afternoon. So. Be open to, to being able to pick up things. So I'm listening uh, also to um, what's going on in the conversation. Not only what Nicole's talking about, but what you guys are talking about. That's the cool thing. And using the outlines to help you, not a script exactly. You don't want this to be scripted. It's all uh, a conversation. So that's why, you know, if you get off topic for a second or if you're jumping from one thing to another, it's all a conversation. That's how we're supposed to do it, right? That's how we'd be doing it if you and I were sitting down at a coffee shop brainstorming. We would just be going at um, different paces and covering different topics. So the reason why I did this scope on this specific topic was we kept talking about it, and I've talked about it before too. It's all about doing your research, making sure that you uh, uh, first discover people, do your research, and then engage, have a conversation with them, and find out you know, not only what they're doing on here, but maybe what they're doing on their other social sites. And I'm huge. You're going to hear me do this all the time. I'm going to be a broken record, but it's not just about their social sites. It's about their website. You want to be able to bring people back to your website. Um, and yes, you can definitely get good topics and key points. Uh, when you're trying to get good topics and key points, pay attention to the comments that are going on here. Um, and be able to, um, listen to what people are talking about because that's really going to help you develop what you want to talk about and where you need to go and constantly doing your research. Research is key guys. Um, so that's really what it's about is discovering somebody, doing your research, having the conversation and then bringing them somewhere, having them check you out. You check them out. Uh, the social sites are great. Uh, Atlanta, my name's Ed Troxel. I'm your creative consultant. So I help you think outside the box. Thank you for jumping in and uh, spending some time with me. Uh, if you slide to the right or uh, up on an Android, you can see there's my profile. You can follow me. You can also tweet me, all of that. So, um, and I'm always talking about show topics and things like that. I'm always asking for your guys' show topic ideas and uh, um, what you want me to cover because that's what I'm here for is I'm here for you. Um, it's hard to uh, be able to jump on here and be like, oh, I gotta see that, oh, okay, I like that, yes, yes, and then save it because there's no way to save it. So I love that you guys will comment in here and say things and I will try to re-pick uh, that up on the broadcast, but if it's a really good show topic or an idea, 
please tweet it out to me, ed underscore Troxel, T-R-O-X-E-L-L. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, please tweet it to me because it's so much easier for me to pick that up. Or if you're on my website, go ahead, edtroxelcreative.com, go ahead and hit contact and send me an email with the show topic idea because like I said, I have a ton of show topic ideas. Uh, I have a lot of guests that I want to start having on here, and I have interviews. Uh, thanks for those invites um, for people that I'm going to start doing, one of which is going to probably be on Wednesday. Uh, I haven't specific. I don't have a specific time yet. Uh, it's probably going to be around 12.30 Pacific Standard Time, so uh, keep uh, an eye on that. I'll tweet it out before I uh, do the scope. It's going to be a pretty good one. Uh, I, I love that. Uh, so will you be the uh, in my first talk. Uh, definitely, I can try to do that. Hit me up uh, on my website, shoot me an email, and let's talk. Let's see what we can work out. Um, so really uh, want to point that out is that uh, Wednesday I'll have a guest. Uh, we should be talking about a cool conference that will be coming up uh, in October. So I don't want to give out too many details, uh, but just wanted to put that out there. So be sure to follow me on Twitter uh, so that way you get the uh, notification when it's happening so that you can tune in because the more that you guys are on, uh, the better it's going to be. And then that way we can have that conversation going. So really, thank you for those hearts. Um, for those who are just starting out their day, welcome. Uh, my name is Ed Trox. I'm your creative consultant. I help you think outside the box. And I'm really here just to help inspire and motivate you guys. Like I told you, uh, when I start talking about business, this is what you get. Uh, Twitter is great. I'm totally on Twitter. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, I'm on there too for those who are on there, uh, but I really am uh, a hardcore on the Instagram and Twitter, uh, and then of course my website, edtroxelcreative.com. Um, and yeah, be, be safe when you're driving. I appreciate that you're tuning in, so listen, but try not to uh, do anything unless you're pulled over to the side. Uh, we want to make sure we have uh, safe scoping here uh, on both sides. So Really, um, it's awesome that you guys are jumping in. If this is your first time, thank you so much. I hope that you're getting some good, valuable information from this. Um, I hope that, uh, yes, you can watch the replay. I'm over also on catch.me. That's K-A-T-C-H dot M-E, where it will catch my info. But again, I'm going to post this on my website later. So if you forget everything else I've told you, just remember my first and last name, Ed Troxel, and then add creative to it. So edtroxelcreative.com, and then you will be able to uh, catch all of that in the scope school, which again, I re redid my website, which will have the new look to it by the end of the week. So, you know, try not to dodge too hard. Uh, and like I've said before, a website is always a work in progress. So even if you have just a bare bones minimum thing, just to have something up, it's okay. You're going to continue to work on it because I told you to and that you want to be a, a good um, representation of your brand. And uh, it's always a work in progress. So be, just know that. Um, so tying this all in, you know, uh, like I've said, if you saw my tweet the other day, you know, you want to show people. You don't want to tell them. You want to show them. So be the artist. Paint the picture for them so that they can see what's going on and engage. You know, it's not just about handing... Uh, somebody your business card and being like, okay, cool, hit me up later. Uh, no, the, you got to engage and you got to talk. And going back to that research, discovering and researching people, always teaching people. I love that uh, because I told you to. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because I told you to, you're going to have a good website. And if you need help, you're going to hit me up on my website and we'll talk. Um, so you do need to scope every day and it will happen. So uh, like I said, I'm a shy guy if I never met you before and if we're not talking business. And by doing scopes every day and being able to get on here every day and have the energy from you guys and Nicole and other people that I've been following, I'm like so pumped, if you can't tell, to just jump on here and get going with you guys. And so every day it, it helps. So if you're worried about scoping, just jump on here and do it because you're going to be better and better. And, you know, do the 30 minute, one minute challenge, whatever you want, uh, 30 second challenge, one minute challenge, whatever you want on what I consider a scope machine where you're practicing just saying who you are and what you do. Um, think of it like your answer machine, you know. That way people can discover you. Um, I also love what was pointed out in the last scope about uh, it. this being a running commercial for yourself. It's a great marketing tool. It's a running commercial. Um, getting outside your comfort zone, exactly. If you're super nervous, uh, it, uh, English isn't your main native language, that's okay. There's going to be people on here from all over the world. That's the cool thing. So 
just help be respectful of people, especially if you're commenting on their scopes. You know, provide them feedback. I'm always looking for that, whether you do it on here or on my website, send it to me. Always provide feedback and kind of structure it in the sense that you're giving them what their strengths are, what their opportunities are, and maybe what an idea is to help them improve what they're doing. Um, because then that is more valuable to me than just saying, oh, I didn't like it, or you didn't do a good job doing this, or that was a great job. Like, but what could I improve? What could I do better? What was good? What wasn't? You know, like be specific about that because that's the only way we're all, we are all going to work together. Uh, because again, it's teamwork equals success. Uh, and so you're going to hear that a lot from me all the time. So that's really what it's about. Once you do your uh, discovering, your research, you find out who they are, hit them up on their different uh, social sites, including their website. Uh, and also what's cool too, when you do that, let them know where you found them. Let them know, oh, I saw you over on Periscope or, oh, I saw you in this group. You know, for those who are familiar with the 1K one day, um, uh, group going on from Nicole, I'm part of that, which is awesome. But, uh, what's cool is I've met so many cool people through the private group and, uh, thank you so much. Got to catch you later. Have a great day. Um, I'm part of that group and what's cool is I've met some cool people on there and they are starting to send me friend requests, which is great, but I usually like to see who it is and how I know them before I accept them, especially on my Facebook, because the Facebook is more of a personal thing. I have my business page, but as you know, Facebook, you still everything directs to your personal profile. So what was great is I got a, a friend request and then a message following that up saying, hey, I know you from the group. I just sent you a friend request. That's awesome. Now I know who you are and I'm going to hit accept. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so really just engaging with people and being able to connect with them. And then not only that, but you want to make sure that you can provide value in the conversation that you're talking about. So make sure that when you do your research, you know who you're talking to, what they do, and maybe a fun fact about them or something, something a little bit different that, um, that you can throw into the mix there. So that way it makes it more genuine and that you're more involved with them. Cause really guys, that's all what it's all about is really connecting with people, being yourself and just being real, like just be honest and be real and don't, worry about trying to be something you're not because then it's just going to be a lot of work and nobody's got time for that. You know, I'm getting my hustle on all day, every day, uh, with lots of things. And I'm sure you are too. We don't need to be asking, uh, for one more thing like that. Cause that's too much work. So just be you, uh, you know, if you've heard it, this before from me and I've seen my other scopes or, uh, videos, you know, 2015 is all about you. You got to do you prepare for things, fix things, work on things, whatever, and just focus on you. Um, and then when it's all said and done, you've done your research, you've done, you've done your discovering, your research, you're engaging, and now you're providing uh, value to your network. And now you're building up your network and you're having people know who you are and find you. Um, you know, it was awesome for a lot of you guys. Uh, you might've just found out about me today from Nicole Scope. I can't tell you, I was at the gym and I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, accept, dismiss, dismiss. Like my phone was blowing up. It was crazy from all of the great conversation and interaction. Um, you know, I thought my phone was just going to blow up and not let me do anything. And then I was like checking my iPad. Can I jump on Periscope? No, it's too full. Oh man. So, um, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be quick on here, but it's great. It's all fun and it's great to meet so many cool people and expand my network because Really, you know, it's tough, especially when you're not in a city. I'm not in the country, you know, a wine country. It's beautiful, and it's probably going to be the next Silicon Valley in the next five, maybe ten years. I'm probably saying five. Mark my words, uh, because everyone's coming up from the city, and they're living up here and telecommuting and doing all this stuff online. And so it's tough to find those people to be able to network and talk business with all the time. That's why I love Periscope because I get to talk to you guys as if you're right here with me, and then we can network and meet new people and talk and share ideas. Um, hello, welcome. So anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this was good. I hope you guys got a lot of good information on there. I hope you continue to follow me and hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, uh, especially my website. Like I said, it's going to be redone, uh, by the end of the week with a new look. Uh, but, uh, just keep connected, you know, like stay in contact and let's work together to see what happens. Uh, because that's what it's all about. Teamwork equals success. And 
I got to go get ready for the rest of my day and prepare for the next uh, session, which is a webinar at 10 o'clock uh, that Shalene's putting on. So you guys have a great day. I appreciate your time and have a great Monday. This week is going to be awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, uh, maybe later today, but probably tomorrow and then Wednesday for sure. Don't forget to tune in on Wednesday because we'll have a guest. So take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye guys. Thanks.